Now at 6, we're working for you tracking the rain, its impact on the roads, plus some school and theme park closures. It has to change. It has to stop. Protests continue nationwide after authorities released video of the violent arrest that led to Tyree Nichols' death. It's too hard for me. I work all day. <laughs> a show of support for a local taco vendor thanks to a TikTok. You're up with CBS 8. And right now, a winter storm system is moving across the county. Thanks for being here at 6 a.m. I'm Eric Connert. And I'm Nettie Rampour. A popular theme park will be closed today because of this rain. Some school districts also impacted. And we have team coverage for you. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol is live in Oceanside with a look at the conditions there. But we begin with Evan Rani tracking the rain here. How's it looking out there? Evan? It's still coming down with varying degrees of intensity. We earlier this morning, closer to about 3, 4 a.m., saw that first initial wave come on shore. We're getting a little little bit of a break embedded in this between now and about 9 a.m. And then it looks like after that, we'll see that chance of showers increase steadily with another afternoon wave that will come through. That'll taper off before we get an evening wave. So this is going to be an all day rain event for us, eventually accumulating to about three quarters of an inch to a full inch of rain. Looks like we could even get some snow off toward the mountaintops above a simple 3000 feet. That's a pretty low elevation for that snow. So we will talk about what the rest of the day looks like coming up in just a bit, but we do want to get a look at those conditions right now outside. CBS 8, Dana Marie McNichol is live in Oceanside this morning. Dana Marie, you were saying this morning on that drive up, that was where that first initial wave came down, right? Yeah, that's right. I mean, I walked out outside my door. It was raining this morning when I got to Kearney Mesa. We saw that rain came down even harder. And then as we made our way up the five here to Oceanside, it started to trickle off. We haven't really seen any amounts of rain since around 4 a.m. this morning. Uh, it's just a slight mist right now. What I'm really feeling is that chilly temperature and the winds. Uh, the waves behind me aren't too aggressive. The swell isn't too large this morning. But of course, as you said, Evan, we're going to see rain throughout the day. Day. Now we did get word uh, that Sea World is actually closing today due to uh, the weather. They said on their social media page, "quote We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause and hope to see you at the park soon." So of course they're expecting to see high amounts of wind and rain. Uh, so that's not good for their guests. Now uh, an amazing thing about San Diego is we can be here in Oceanside and then in the same day heading up to the mountains to catch that snow. And this storm is really going to bring some snow on the mountains at three thousand feet elevation. A winter storm warning was issued from 1 p.m. until uh, on Sunday until Tuesday. So of course they're going to get a lot of great snow for our snowboarders. In terms of what you should wear today, definitely grab a jacket, maybe an umbrella because we're going to see scattered showers throughout the rest of your day. I thought I was going to be able to retire my rain jacket for a bit, but of course we've seen a lot of rain in January. We know how to drive in it. We're prepared. Uh, it's pretty much rain throughout the day. So Get cozy if you don't have to drive. Don't drive on that Monday. We'll be your eyes and ears out here. I'm Dana Marie McNichol coming to you live from Oceanside. And with the heavy snow expected, some East County school districts have canceled classes today. Yes, yeah, several inches expected across our local mountains. So here you go. The closures today include schools in Julian, the Mountain Empire Unified School District, Spencer Valley, and Warner Unified. As of now, they also plan to have a late start tomorrow morning. It'll likely be snowy and icy then, too. We've posted a list of all the schools impacted at CBS8.com. And of course, if it's safe to do so, please feel free to show us the weather where you live. We can't be everywhere, so you can always share photos and videos on the CBS 8 app. All you have to do is go to the Near Me section right there at the bottom of the app. Click on the Share With Us button. More protests are planned for today in Memphis and across other cities around the U.S. Yeah, protesters are demanding justice after Friday night's release of that police video that shows the deadly beating of Tyree Nichols. CBS 8's Chris Grow in studio here to explain what else is expected to happen here this week and how San Diegans are responding to this violent encounter here. People here speaking out on this. Yeah, we saw an outpour outpouring of really a lot of emotion, but also a lot of calls for action mm -hmm. up in North County. Actually, up in Escondido, a lot of the North County leaders planning that. But we also saw the leader of the Memphis NAACP calling for police reform on the local and national level. And the Congressional Black Caucus has a meeting with the White House to talk about justice reform. It's a very common theme here in the wake of Tyree Nichols' death. Again, 
these protesters, these activists, these politicians, they want to see something happen soon. And again, protesters took to the streets in Memphis as well as in other states after Friday's release of body cam footage from the violent January 7th police arrest of Tyree Nichols. Now Nichols died three days later. The five ex officers face multiple charges, including second degree murder. They're going to be arraigned on February 17th. Meanwhile, here in San Diego County, we saw a demonstration outside Escondido City Hall. The group there rallied to demand change so that future instances of police brutality can be prevented. The group urged community members to speak out when they see something or something happens to them. They also want to see legislation in place to protect civilians and to hold police officers accountable. The solution to the problem is not more black or brown people in the police force or better training. We need to understand what the role of the police is in this society. Nichols will be laid to rest in Memphis on Wednesday this week. It will be a public funeral. His family also has accepted an invite from the Congressional Black Caucus to attend next Tuesday's State of the Union. Netta. All right, Chris, thank you for that. And Tyree Nichols, loved ones, say he had a creative soul. In fact, he was a photographer and a skateboarder. People online sharing this video of him skating. Here's some of that video. Before moving to Memphis, Nichols was part of Sacramento's tight-knit skating community. People there will hold a vigil in his honor at a skate park tonight. This morning, police are investigating after a man was found dead in Otai Valley Regional Park in Chula Vista. As of right now, we still don't have any suspect information to pass along to you. This happened just before 11 yesterday morning. We've learned the man is a 49 year old Hispanic man, though police haven't released his name. His exact cause of death has not been determined. However, investigators say he had trauma to his upper body, indicating he was the victim of a violent crime. This morning, we do know the name of the man killed in one of three shootings Friday night. They spanned from Spring Valley across southeast San Diego, all in under an hour. Out of the four people shot that night, one man was killed. Authorities identified him as 32-year-old Raul Rojas Valdez. He was one of two people shot in Manzana Way in Bay Terraces. A suspect has been arrested, identified as 22-year-old Jaime Gonzalez. And here we are at 6.07, and uh, the snow with this system, Ooh. it's going to be exciting, right? It is dropping down to 3,000 feet, which is pretty low for us here in San Diego. I mean, that is not a high elevation. That covers uh, Pine Valley, Julian, Palomar Mountain, Mount Laguna. I mean, you name it. Our mountains here in San Diego are going to be covered by the end of the day today into tomorrow. You see snow already off toward the mountaintops. Mount Laguna is one spot, along with Palomar Mountain, where the National Weather Service is putting them at 8 inches of snow between now and tomorrow. So tomorrow at 10 a.m. is when we see that uh, winter storm warning expire. We've already started to see some of that snow come down closer to the coastline. It's rain, of course. Rain continues on shore. This is a west to east moving system, and it looks like each wave is going to come with varying degrees of intensity. So we've already seen most of that rain start to kind of slow down a bit and taper off up toward areas like Oceanside and even in downtown San Diego. But you can see how we We've got another wave that's going to be gearing up just off of our coastline to make its way on shore closer to your late morning, early afternoon time frame. Uh, when we pull this map all the way out to Southern California in general, from Santa Barbara down through San Diego, you can see how this is coming in the form of scattered showers throughout most of the morning. It will continue in this fashion for pretty much the entirety of the day. How much rain could come down? The big question on hand, what are our totals going to look like? Well, we've already seen around a tenth of an inch through many spots of the county. By the time we get through the end of the day, we're expecting to add another nine tenths of an inch, eight tenths of an inch in Escondido, a full inch in Oceanside and San Diego. So this will likely fall between about three quarters of an inch and an inch. Otherwise, there are some localized heavier spots that could see closer to an inch and a quarter come down. Uh, today's the only day of rain in the forecast. All of that wet weather will taper off by tomorrow morning, dropping down to a 5% chance by the afternoon. And then that stays low all the way through the rest of the week into the weekend, only rising to maybe 10% by Sunday. And even there, we're seeing pretty slim opportunities for rain. So the rain, the wind, the mountain snow, the cooler temperatures really only lasting today before we start to see those warmer temperatures prevail. We head back toward normal and before we see some more sunshine in the forecast. Let's take a look at how traffic is shaping up this morning. We'll show you some drive times out the door on the five southbound from the 54 to the border. It will be an eight minute commute, 65 miles per hour out there and on the 78 westbound from the 15 to the five, a 15 minute
minute commute. Take it slower out there. Roads are wet and you could also see some limited visibility to start off the morning. Back to you too. All right, still ahead here, more people getting hurt or killed while trying to cross the border. Plus, how a red panda managed to escape from her enclosure. This happened at the San Diego Zoo. And think twice before using a plastic bottle. We'll look at the major impact on the environment.